Hey, Cookies here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get all of my add-on profiles for weak auras, LVI, and plater nameplates. So the first thing that you're gonna need is an add-on management program. This is a separate program on your computer. I personally use WowUp. You can find it on wowup.io, or alternatively, a lot of people use CurseForge. That's the usual default. The reason I use WowUp over CurseForge is that WowUp has LVI in it, whereas if you get CurseForge, you'll need to go and download LVI as a separate installation. But other than that, pick which one you want. I'll have links to them in the description to help out. And then once you have them, you just open one of them up, and then you should get some kind of screen like this where you have a section for my add-ons and get add-ons. The only thing that you need to make sure is that retail is selected up here because this is the various um, clients that are available in uh, the battle.net launcher. So make sure it's selected on retail. Then you would just go to get add-ons and then you just simply search up the add-ons that you're looking for. So we're going to want to get weak auras. So we would look up weak auras. We'd install this. Um, I believe these are both the same um, as far as I'm, I'm concerned. I think they're just two different providers. So they're just two different links to the exact same add-on. So it doesn't matter which one you get if you're using WowUp and you see both of these. Um, then we're gonna want LVI. So again, we search this up, or if you're using CurseForge, you're gonna want to go and download that separately on their website. Um, and the one that you want, since there's a lot of different options, is just the one that's called LVI. It'll have the most amount of downloads. Um, and that is all. And then lastly, we're going to want Plater. So we just search up Plater, and there it is, Plater nameplates. Then once we press install on all of these, we can go to my add-ons and make sure that they are in here. You should be able to find them. This is just all of my add-ons, so that's why it may be hard to dig through and find them. Um, and then all you have to do is just once a week or once every couple weeks, just come in here, open the add-on management software, and then up at the top, just make sure you hit update all. Usually updates will happen every Tuesday with the reset. Um, as new patches and stuff come out and you just hit update all and it will update them for you you can even minimize it at this point and it'll just do it in the background so now the next thing that we'll need to do is find the profiles because once you download these add-ons when you log in your screen is going to just have a bunch of stuff all over it um, mine already has the profiles enabled but i'm still going to walk you guys through how to get them so don't freak out if you if you log in and there's a bunch of stuff all over your screen just exit out of any optional things that are popping up and then just follow this next step, which is going into the community discord. You can find a link to this in the description of any of my videos. And I'll also have a link to it down below. And all we are going to do is go to the community discord, scroll down until you find the add-ons and weak auras channel. It should be the top channel and the resources uh, section of the discord. And then you'll see these three separate posts. There's one that's most valuable week auras. This is something separate. And then we'll want more cookies, LVI plus other add-on profiles. So we're gonna start with that. We click on it, it'll open up. We have LVI profile for 20 man raid frames and LVI, or actually I, I've changed this now. I don't have two separate profiles, I just remembered. So all we're gonna do is click on this link. It is a WAGO link, which WAGO is just a website that, uh, allows people to share their um, import strings for their various add-on profiles and stuff. Here we can see an example of the profile and all that. All we're gonna do is hit copy import string. And now once we've done that, we can go in game and we type slash EC or slash LVI, whichever one you prefer, EC is just shorter. And then it'll open up this options menu for LVI. Then we scroll down until we see profiles down here at the bottom. We're gonna click on that and then we will just hit import profile. And then we just paste, which is control V is going to be the code on your keyboard for a shortcut. You'll see all of this text and then you just hit import now. Once it does that, it should enable the profile for you. But if it doesn't, after it's done importing, just go back to the profiles tab and then you should be able to select the profile right here through existing profiles. And it should just be called healer dragonflight. So once you have that selected, the LVI profile should look like this. So you should see your health bar here, your target's health bar here, the action bars down here, so on and so forth. And then next we'll want to grab the uh, Plater profile. So now we go back to the community discord and we just grab the next link, Plater profile. We click on that, 
Same exact steps. We're just going to hit copy import string once it pops up. There it is, copy import string, import string copied. We go back in game. We type slash plater. We'll get this uh, options box, and we're going to find profiles. It's down here towards the bottom right. Then we just hit import profile. Same exact thing. We just paste, and then we will hit OK, import it, and then we just make sure that that profile is selected. This one currently, um, I'll probably update the title by the time that I release this video, but currently the profile is called um, Healer 8.2. But again, I'll probably update the name, so don't worry about the name too much. I'll probably update it to just also be in line with the, the LVI profile. The one thing you're going to want to do is if you're having issues with seeing nameplates, like they're invisible or you get some kind of error message after you get the Plater profile, it's because you have LVI nameplates enabled at the same time as having Plater profile nameplates enabled. So what you'll want to do is just type slash EC to go back to the LVI settings go to nameplates, and then just make sure that this is disabled by unchecking enable. If you prefer the LVI nameplates, then you need to disable the Plater nameplates. If you prefer the Plater nameplates, then you need to make sure that the LVI nameplates are disabled. All right, and then lastly, we just need the weak aura specific profiles. So for this, we go back into the community discord, and then we're gonna go down here to the bottom of this other thread where it says more cookies, weak auras profiles. We're going to click on that. And then here is the various profiles. So say we want the rest of Druid profile. We would just click on this link, but make sure you read the following because I do have um, for sound notifications, you're going to want these other add-ons and these other links. And then for all weak auras, I also use the add-on mask with the flat square skin. So if you don't have this, you'll need to grab this. It's just what gives the weak auras their appearance. So if you get the weak auras and they're overlapping over each other or they're in weird positions or they don't seem sized properly, it's probably because you need mask and mask flat squares, which is super easy. You just download it. And if you're having problems with it, just let me know in Discord and I will help. So we're going to click on the restoration druid weak auras because those are the ones that we're looking for specifically then it's the exact same thing as all the others. We just hit copy import string. We go back in game. We're going to type slash WA for weak auras. It's going to open up this box that has all of our weak auras in it, which should be empty if this is the first time we're downloading a weak aura. And then we just up here at the top, we hit import, we paste, and we hit import. It won't say import as copy. It'll just say import. And then that is it. It should pop up in the middle of our screen, and everything should be good. If you have any issues, just let me know uh, in Discord. Just send me a ping or post in the add-on support channel, and I will be there to help out. So I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.